Welcome to Digital Electronics Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritesh Dolakia, is going to explain you 3-bit synchronous up-down counter in this session. And to understand this video, I request you to go through my previous video based on 3-bit synchronous counter and 2-bit synchronous counter. Right, so designing steps will remain same. So let me explain you all those steps one by one. So see, in first step, we need to identify how many bits are required and what will be the flip-flop by which we will be designing this circuit. So here it is not given. So we can make this circuit by T flip-flop. The reason is by using T flip-flop designing will be easier. Now in second step we need to write excitation table of flip-flop. So here we will, we will be selecting T flip-flop. So we will be writing excitation table of T flip-flop. Now in third step we will be making state diagram and state table so that I'll show you how to make it and in four step based on state table we'll be solving boolean expression and once we have boolean expression in last step we can make a circuit of counter so as per first step here we have three bits synchronous up down counter and we'll be selecting T flip flop now see in next step we are dealing with to write excitation table of selected flip flop so we have selected t flip flop over here so we need to write excitation table of t flip flop so here in excitation table we have current state and next state so current state is qn and next state is qn plus 1 and that is what we need to make it with respect to input T and I have already explained this with separate video how to make this right so here we will not see this in detail how to draw this table see T that will be input to flip-flop and if T is 0 in that case current and next state will be same and if T is 1 in that case current and next state will be different so that is how one can remember excitation table of T flip flop. Now in next step we need to draw state diagram and state table. Now see here we are dealing with to make up down counter right. So for up down counter we need to have one more input let us say we have m that is our input and this m is equals to 0 explains us up counter and m is equals to 1 explains us down counter right so this is what we need to take care of m is equals to 0 that explains us up counter and m is equals to 1 that explains us down counter now i'll explain you how we can make state diagram so you see we have states as per 0 0 0 states means output right so let me write all states in sequence so 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 now see here if m is equals to 0 then I am showing it by this green color it will be up counter so it will go like this where this green color explains m is equals to 0 so if input is 0 m is equals to 0 it will count in this way and now see by this black color I am showing if m is equals to 1 then there will be down counter right so it will start from 1 1 1 so you see if m is equals to 1 it will count in down what direction So that is how state diagram that is there with three bits up down counter right 
Now let us make state table based on this. So to make state table, here we have m input and when m is 0 at a time it indicates it will be up counter and when m is equals to 1 at a time it indicates it will be down counter. Right. So this is my m input and my output state current state that will be q2 q1 and q0 and my next state that will be q2 plus q1 plus and q0 plus and here we have t flip flop right so here my input of t flip flop that is t2 t1 and t0 and now we are deal with to make state table first so see in state table when input m is 0 right at that time q2 q1 q0 that is having total 8 combinations and when m is equals to 1 at that time q2 q1 q0 that is again having total 8 combinations so if you observe this m is equals to 0 that explains up counter and this m is equals to 1 that explains down counter as per our earlier assumption right so when m is equals to 0 it is up counter so in up counter if current state is 0 0 0 then next state will be incremented by 1 now when m is equals to 1 it will be acting like a down counter and in down counter next state will decrement 1 by 1 0 see this is how this table is there as per current state and next state so in down counter state will decrement by 1 and in up counter state will increment by 1 with next state right now we need to identify t2 t1 and t0 so you see t2 that is based on q2 and q2 plus as per next state and if both are same then t will be 0 and if both are different then t will be 1 so you see 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 and then 1 0 1 then 1 0 1 1 then 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 see this is how t flip flop output is there for t1 you see we need to see q1 and q1 plus if both are same then it will be 0 if both are different you see then it will be 1 so 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 Similarly for T0 we need to see Q0 and Q0 plus. So Q0 and Q0 plus if you see 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 so that is how all are one you can see. Now we need to solve boolean expression of t2 t1 and t0. So here if you observe t0 so t0 is 1 only right we don't need to solve it but when you want to solve t1 then you see t1 is having input m q2 q1 q0 so let me write it m q2 q1 q0 now we need to write this data in sequence so t1 you see 0 1 0 1 
zero one zero one then one zero one zero and then one zero see this is how t1 data is there now let us solve this so here you can take this group and this group so with this group we can say t1 that is equals to this will be q0 and m is 0 so m bar plus with this group you can see we have q0 bar and here you see m so q0 bar m right now we need to have t2 so input is m q2 and over here it is q1 q0 now you see t2 so that is 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 then 1 0 0 0 and then 1 0 0 0 see this is how t2 is there now we need to solve this so this is one group and this is one group so our t2 with this group you can see q1 q0 and over here it is m bar plus here you see it is q1 bar q0 bar and over here it is m so that is how we have boolean expressions and based on this we can make a circuit so here we have three flip flops so let me draw three flip flops first now see this is synchronous counter so clock will be same with all flip flop now in this circuit if you observe our first solution that is t0 is equals to 1 so i need to connect t0 is equals to 1 first now see our next solution that is t1 and that is q0 m bar plus q0 bar m right so here if i say i have m then see this is my direct line and this is my inverted line that one can say so q see we need to make q0 q0 m bar plus q0 bar m right so here there is or gate then q0 m bar means here we have and gate and here another AND gate is there now see Q0 M bar so here this is Q0 and this is M bar over here right and Q0 bar M so this M that I need to connect over here so that is how we have this q0 m bar and q0 bar m over here so let me mention it first over here now if you see t2 so in t2 it is q1 q0 m bar and q1 bar q0 bar m now you see already we have q0 m bar and q0 bar m so we can use this terminal so you see how i am using this two terminal so here again we have one or gate and that is what again we are connecting it with two and gate
now if you observe you see q0 m bar so q0 and m bar that is there over here so i can directly connect this terminal over here so that is q0 m bar and q1 that i can connect over here so this will be now q0 q1 m bar and you see this is q1 bar and i can use q0 bar m so that is this terminal over here so this is how i can make a connection of t2 right so this is how we can design 3 bit synchronous up down counter now sometimes there can be question like design 4 bits counter right so how to design 4 bits counter so for that process will be same you see this circuit will not change but here when you want to calculate t3 so that t3 that will be again having two AND gates one AND gate that will be over here and second AND gate that will be over here one input is this here even one input is this and second input that will come from here so that is how 4 bits synchronous up down counter that even we can design so one more flip flop that we need to connect over here right so this is how circuit will be there i hope that now it is clear to all of you how to design 3 bit synchronous up down counter right sometimes there can be jk flip flop so by shorting j and k we can make it to t and then process will remain same but if you make it by having jk flip flop with this derivation you will be finding you will have to calculate too many steps so it becomes very complex so that I have made it by having T flip flop. I hope that you have understood this video. 